What is going on everybody? This is Mike with Terrible Gaming, and today we're back playing some Subnautica. Uh, last episode, we made this amazing looking sea moth here, which is pretty sweet. I like it a lot. Uh, we aren't going to take it right now, though, because I've decided that what we're going to do is we're going to go try and assist that uh, that crew that right here on the thing here, a little waypoint, uh, assist them in, in surviving radiation. So I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to be able to help them with that, but we're going to try. And also we're going to try not to get eaten by the giant monster from last episode, because that made me pee a little. That was pretty, that was pretty horrifying. And also, I'm not sure on how to recharge the Seamoth yet. Um, so, I'm going to not be taking that. Just because I don't want to end up using all the battery for it and not know how to recharge it. Any pieces of stuff. Hope that's this thing. Nope. Okay. We're, whoa, there's a lot of those pussy looking things. And we're going to try and get over to this life pod 6. But we'll see. I'm a little nervous to be going down here in the darkness. Alright, what are these things? Don't know. Perfect. Um, pick up flares, okay, sure. First aid kit, all right. There's lead in here, great. Abandoned PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Thirty seconds. Data box. What did I find? It didn't tell me. Oxygen. Yes, I know. Okay. So I found a, a PDA thing, or a uh, data box, but it didn't actually tell me what I found. Okay, and my light went out. There we go, perfect. So we found two logs, um, and a thing, 30 seconds. but I, it's so dark. Alright, let's just swim to the surface, try not to get eaten by anything large and scary. Oxygen. Alright, let's go back down. I don't really like doing this. But I really can't tell when objectives are complete. I'm not sure if it says like objective complete and you're done. Or if it ever takes it off the screen. Um, what's this? I don't know. Um, let's see. Can we scan anything over here? Come on. Let me in. There we go. Uh, nothing can really be scanned at this point. Uh, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and go somewhere else. Oh, God. I hate these things. Ugh. Oxygen. They don't seem to hurt me, but they just... They hurt my soul. Mostly. Because, like, it looks like land. It looks like land, but no. It's a giant squid creature thing. Ooh, and I broke off his barnacle. He's probably not going to be super happy about that. I don't know if I had somebody kind of trying to come over and break off my barnacles. I'd be pretty... I'd be pretty upset about that. Man, the, the night time in this game is like so long. I feel like it's day for like two minutes and then it's night for six and a half months. Ugh. Ugh. I need to get away from it. I'll just go to this one. Ugh. 
Okay. Well, we still need to find the blueprints for the moon pool. So far, I've not had much luck on that one. Oh, that moon is massive. Um, but I really, I really don't know where to go from here. Um, I think I'm just going to keep exploring maybe close to the ship once there's a light. Because last game, or last episode, I swam past the ship a little bit. And there was a gigantic, horrifying monster on the other side. This is a coffee machine? No, a trash can. Sweet. I need those. I mean, that's pretty much as good as the moon pool, right? Alright, back to the surface again. Maybe I should have brought my Seamoth. Alright, well let's go check out closer to the ship again. I'm going to try and stay away from the giant monsters. But, if one thing leads to another and I have to punch one in the face, I will. I'm not afraid. Alright, I lied. I'm super afraid of those gigantic monsters, but... For you, the viewers, I will punch it right in its mouth. Ugh, okay. Let's see. More salvage everywhere. Let's take a look down here. Let's get up on this. Yep, there we go. Dry land. So right about here is where I found that monster last time. Oh, there's a shark thing above me. Propulsion cannon. I think I found that last time. Uh, I don't want to be here. Ocean cannon again? Yes. Man, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be out here, I'd like to at least find something. Oh God, there's the giant monster thing. Um. Maybe, real quick, I can find something to at least make it worth my time coming out here. But probably not, because that's what happens. Ugh. So uncomfortable out here. What is that? Oh, it's one of those, uh... One of those weird, creepy island tentacle monsters. Which is just fantastic. Oh, there's something right here, I think. Battery charger fragment. Hey, there we go. Sweet, now I can charge my batteries, which is nice. I keep throwing them away. Which is probably not environmentally super friendly. Oh god. Get away from me. Oh yeah, I need to go to the top anyways. Oh, this is real deep. Alright, let's go over to Creepo over here. Cool. I'm going to break this guy's barnacles off. Oh, 
I went backwards. That explains why I'm not getting eaten alive. Wait, no, well... I guess I kind of went backwards. Let's, let's go see if we can't get eaten alive. Why not? Nah, I think I'm good on there. Oh, I ran out of power. If I can remember how to do this, come on. There we go. That took much lo oh god, much longer than it should have. And I need to remember how incredibly deep I am now. All right. I'm also not sure on the the Seamoth when when I end up using that to come out here. I'm not sure how deep it can go because I don't think. Oh, that thing is ugly. Let's go somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I don't think that the Seamoth can go fully under. Like, I don't think it can go as deep as I want it to go. I think it needs mods and stuff for it, if I remember correctly. 30 seconds. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and go back, and I'll grab the Seamoth, and then come back, unless I die because I was way too deep. Um, oh gosh. Am I, yeah, I'm going to make it. Alright, well, I'm going to head back. I will uh, cut back to me being back here with the Seamoth, and we will continue from there. All right, I am back with the Seamoth. Um, as you can tell, if you look down at my health, I had a run-in with a very scary creature. Not as scary as that. It was actually just a rock that I ran into. And good lord, that thing is ugly. Let's see if we can't just go around it. The Seamoth is not very fast. Nope. Oh god. I don't know how I missed that. But I did. Oh god, it's right behind. Oh, good lord. It actually has me in its hooks. And I can't get out. So this is going as poorly as I anticipated. My Seamoth has cracks in it. Uh, okay. Whew. That was... Uh, that was horrifying. Um, I mean, I might just fear puke right now. Because that was... That was uh, freaky. But uh, that's alright. We're all good now. We're only leaking water onto the inside of our sea moth. Uh, and I'm also not sure on how to repair it. So, uh, <sighs> sorry, fish. Uh, I'm really not sure what to do at this point. I'm thinking I should cut my losses and head back, which makes for a very short, uh, you know, not very, uh, there, we didn't do much on that trip. Um, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and head back. So that way we don't get our sea moth, uh, exploded because it, it looks like, it's about ready to explode. Alright, so we're out of our sea moth, so let's see. Can we... Oh, yeah, I think it said repair. Hey, it can be repaired. Well, that was easier than expected. That was cool. Nice. Okay, real quick, let's just try and uh, build that um, battery charger. So that way I can have some nice fresh batteries for the next episode. So let's see. Uh, computer chip, copper wire, glass. Um, I have glass. Fine. Nope, what did I just put in there? Battery, I need that. Um... What, what was it again? Okay, I have glass. I need 
copper wire and a computer chip. Um, computer chip, what do you need? Table coral sample, copper wire, gold. So I just pretty much need nothing in here. Gold, sweet. I don't have the... Oh, I have copper ore. Okay, good. Um, so let's go back here. Oh, I need two copper ore for one copper wire. Great. Um, well, let's make this computer chip first. Can I just peel it off with this uh, thing? Nope. Need my old cut knife. Cool. Cool. Let's do it. Sweet. Uh, now I just need two more copper. I will go and find that. Okay, so I found the last bit of copper. So we will go ahead and make our copper wire. If I can get in here, there we go. So I believe we have all the necessary components. Um, let's go ahead and put it in our little multi-purpose room, maybe right here in the middle. Um, let's make sure it's nice and even. And there we go. Cool. So we just put a battery in there like that. Um, can I take out the batteries from these things? Let's let's see. Uh, unload battery. Cool. Uh, unload battery. Perfect. And there we go. We are rocking and rolling. Uh, it actually looks like it's charging pretty quick. So uh, definitely next episode I'll have all of my batteries. And we will be 100% fully charged to go explore that creepiness out there. Uh, well, if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to our channel for more content. And until next time, I've been Mike with Terrible Gaming. And you have yourself a terrible day. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel. If you enjoyed this video, click right here for our latest upload or click right here for another episode. And click our channel icon in the middle to subscribe.